Benadorm special. So there's a couple of young lovers that I've just met and then panning round. Do you know it's hilarious? Holiday romances. It's funny as anything. I found them. Where did you go? I went to get a belt. You went to get a belt? Yeah. Went to get a belt. Went to get a belt and Benadorn. Hold his trousers up. Hold his trousers up. Could hold it away down there. That's the good thing about having this mic, because you can hold it away down there. And uh, well, the, um, about 100, 100 meters, it says, but I've never tried it. I tried walking about the garden and it worked fine. So, anyway, let's have a look at the beach. They two have just met. <laughs> Should have had their conversations back there. It's hilarious. Yeah. Little, little holiday romance. He's ditched his mates. <laughs> He's went for a walk with her. Well, eh? Yeah, ought to be young again, eh? <laughs> oh, I've got this t-shirt on and it's absolutely boiling. Should have wore shorts. But then I would have stuck it like a complete tourist. As we do. So who's all coming to Benidorm this weekend? Obviously, this weekend is St. Patrick's Day weekend. There will be, there is, I think there's a parade in Benidorm for St. Patrick's Day, I'm not too sure. But we will be down at Cabo Roig. There will be the big one down at Cabo Roig that we'll be at. As always. I'm looking forward to that this year. They're expecting 20,000 people this year. Yeah. Yeah, they're expecting 10,000 last year. But then. Last year was the first one after COVID, wasn't it? The first one last year it got cancelled last year. There was one the year before it got can got cancelled last year because of the rain member. Yeah. And then they had one later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had one. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was uh, uh, the international festival or something they called it. it was... So there is one apartment block. I don't know if it's an apartment or if it's a hotel. Obviously, getting the outside all looking nice as they do. And we'll just have a walk along the seafront. What day is it today? It's Tuesday, isn't it? It's yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday the it's Tuesday that we're filming this. <laughs> Something a bit different for the channel. And there's pizza pasta. English. English breakfast. Wonder how much an English breakfast is up in Benador. I wonder. People on the beach. Here's some music playing. Here's some music. Oh my god. It's that tune. Oh yeah. So who's coming to Benidorm this weekend? Or are you here already for the Cheltenham? Are you here already for the Cheltenham Festival? People like to go away, watch the horse racing in Benidorm and the pubs. We got asked to go into a few, but it's not going to happen. And then we've got St. Patrick's Day. Just an excuse really for to get drunk for the best part of a week. Saying the Cheltenham Festival will be on and then St Patrick's Day, it's just a good excuse to get drunk for the best part Easter. of a week. <laughs> and then Easter's only a couple of weeks away. How do we cope? Back again because we're away from that guy with the, the violin and the most depressing song on the planet. There's one of the scooters, the Benidorm scooters. Mad bus. Mad scooter crew. There's a... <laughs> It's a scooter crew that used to go to the football back home. A couple of old guys came over from. Yeah. Anyway. Instagram post? Yep. Alright. Instagram selfies. 
the younger the younger generation posing for their Instagram selfies. Love it. Now Instagram holidays are, are a thing. People go to destinations just to get their picture taken. Really? Yeah. I'm to the good old days where you just went on holiday just to go on holiday. Do people still do that? Does people well, go on holiday just to lie on the beach? About this morning, people jumping on flights in the morning. Ah, yeah. Back home, there's a thing in, in the UK now where people are going on extreme day trips. So basically what they do is they book, they try and book a, a, like an Alicante day trip, right? So they book an Alicante flight for around about £50, 50 pound return. They go to Alicante for the day, they go and sit on the beach, they go and have some tapas. We're going to do whatever. We should really get the tiki tiki bar in the video. Good old tiki tiki. Lots of po people are, are, are you looking forward to coming there. Anyway, yeah. It is um, people basically going on extreme day trips and then they book one a month. So rather than taking a two week holiday, they basically just go away once once a month. But they're going away 12 times a year rather than going away for a, f like a fortnight. Where are we going? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no Cheap idea. Cheap flight somewhere. Yeah. Cheap flight. Wouldn't be the UK anyway. Too cold. Far too cold. Oh. That's half of your about question in a minute, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> If I'm going to go, the thing is, is Alicante, the good thing about Alicante is Ryanair will open up something, another 20 odd destinations to Alicante. So it's going to be like 80 odd destinations in total that you can fly into Alicante from. So if you can fly into them, it means you can actually fly out and do a little cheap away days. Which for us is fantastic. Let's you see different parts of Europe. Come on, lads. They're, they're not needing to be on these scooters, are they? They're, they're just not needing to be on those scooters at all. I thought they brought in a law where you had to, you actually had to be well, mobility, and, there, mobility, yeah. mobility yeah. impaired. Oh, it's like your mum and dad's a higher one, doesn't it? Yeah, I suppose. And then you're off. I suppose it does that. That's the good thing about it. See that guy wanted to be on camera there, he stops and smiled. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, put me on YouTube. <laughs> right. A nice lazy walk along the bend on front on a Tuesday afternoon for you. If it's the first time you've been on the channel, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. So we do do lots of videos in and around Spain. And we have just recently hit 10,000 subscribers yesterday. So make sure that you add to that, because the next stop is 20. The big one. And we'll see how, how big we can grow the channel this year. We're showing you life in Spain. It's not going to be like the touristy channels that you get, where they're showing you just the tourist destination, destinations all the time. You're going to see different parts of Spain. You're going to see little villages in Spain. You're going to see really cheap property in towns where there's really cheap property. Likes of some of the videos we've done where there's been property for 10,000 euros. Yes, you can get a property for 10,000 euros. There was even there was other ones where you could get a villa for, it was a house for about 35,000 euros. But there is lots of little places around about Spain that are like that. So if you like that type of thing, check out the videos on the channel. Lots of folks sitting having lunch, and I think that's what we all need to do. Lots of white bodies. I've not seen that many white bodies in a long time. Bulldog. I know. a really hot bit of wind came there, you feel that? Mm. And I was saying it's 22 degrees. Well, we're on match. 
March the... Uh, 10th, 12th? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What are we on today? 12th. 12th of March. And it's 22 degrees. Usually this time of year you're getting some rain. We've not had any at all. And there are people sitting in the bar. I've never heard that many Scottish accents for ages. <laughs> It's always funny because the first video that I do when I come back after I've been home in Scotland, everyone says that my accent totally changes. Yeah? Yeah. Man, the Scottishness comes out on me a lot more once I've been back home. It's always the same. My mate was like that. He was yeah. Born. Yeah. He lived in Tenerife everywhere. Yeah. All over the place. And every time I went back to Bolton, that accent just... Yeah, it just back. comes right back. So strong. Nice, relaxing. I'm going to do a video actually. There's a, there's, there's a couple of videos that we've got lined up. And one of them is obviously going to be how YouTube changed my life and our lives, really. Um, but it's going to give you the history of me doing YouTube, which will be an interesting video. Because a lot of people won't know that I done my first YouTube video around about 2009, believe it or not. First time that I uploaded to YouTube, 2009, a long time ago. YouTube, YouTube was only, what, 50 years? <sighs> yeah, YouTube was just a baby then. YouTube was only brought, it only came out in 2006. YouTube was born, and I uploaded my first video. I just think if I'd kept to that consistency, I'd probably have been. Check that out. That table, <laughs> that's quality. <laughs> Is that always sitting there or they just set that up? Yeah. Now that's if you're going down the beach. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. You get the crystal out, get the crystal out and head down the beach. Sit a fridge, do you know what I mean? And then it's all about just enjoying the sun. But yeah, I'm gonna do a video talking about my history of YouTube and how it's changed my life. And then I want to do a video about really an update on living in Spain and how things change. I'm going to start doing lives. Karen doesn't really want to do lives because it's at night and it encroaches on her own free time. But I think, I think we need to do some lives because it gives people a better perspective of what's actually going on. It gives people a perspective of what's going on on a daily basis rather than edited videos. Because let's face it, edited videos, you can make it look as, as good as you want. But when people... Aye. <laughs> Do you know where McDonald's is? Aye, but we'll tell you. Anyway, that's up and coming videos. I need some food. We need to stop for food. We've walked right along to the end. In one go, unedited video, just so you see what it was like Benadon today. It's a nice, it's a probably a nice time to come to Benadon. Because yeah. it's chilled out, it's quieter. You've not got the craziness, you've not got all the stag do's and hen do's haven't started yet. And it's, um, when did we go last time? That was August, wasn't it? No, it was February weekend the last time. We drove up in February. It was because it was dead, remember? Yeah, no, we've been in the summer as well, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah I've been up at all different times of years for working that way. In the summer, it's just complete mayhem. So anyway, right. So we're outside the Roman bar. So you know where we are. There we go. Get a menu del dia for 16 euros. Ensalada Murciana. Pina con salmon. To be fair, 16 euros, that's okay, but the menu, the menu's not that great, to be honest, for a whole 16 euros. You can get a lot 
better. But I don't know, it's maybe Benadar. Tell me in the comments, what's the average price of a menu dal deer in Benadar? Because obviously where we stay, you can get a menu dal deer for nine euros. And it's fantastic quality food. It's fantastic quality food. And it's, uh, it's always great. So anyway, on that note, I hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one. Hasta luego.